Fashion Bosses. I'm back. Welcome. The Boss Track. Alright. So, um, you guys, please forgive me. I know, as you can tell from my background, I am in the bathroom. But, um, the reason that I'm in the bathroom is because this is the only like place that I had a little peace and quiet so um, I had to come in here really quick just to do like a little small intro into what I'm about to do um, welcome um, please take a moment to Again, thank you guys so much for all of your support. Um, I'm so grateful. So the purpose of me getting on here right now is to kind of like let you guys know what I'm about to do. So I'm getting ready to make my famous homemade spaghetti. Please stay tuned. Again, I'm so sorry for my background. Please excuse me being in the bathroom to film my intro, but I had to come in give it to you guys live so um thank you for watching and let's go ahead and get to okay guys so I have some dishes in the corner over here that haven't been put away. They've been washed, but haven't been put away. So please excuse. Please excuse. Um, but anyway, okay, so I, I, we were like kind of in a hurry today. So um, we got this ground beef. Um, I don't know, it's like 80% lean, 20% fat. Um, so you can use whatever ground beef you choose. Whatever works for you is what you um, can use. Um, for the cheese, I just got, you know, whatever, Mexican blend. Again, cheese, meat, whatever brand you please. Um, I've got the bell peppers in the bag. Um, Babe usually buys the frozen ones for me, but um, I decided that I wanted to cut up my own bell pepper today. Um, and then Louisiana hot links. You gotta have, don't buy no bar S type cheap stuff because. The taste will definitely make a difference. You don't want to have no cheap, um, no cheap food, no no cheap meat in your spaghetti. Like you have to have the good stuff. But it, what it, it's up to you. Whatever you can afford. Don't get me wrong. You know it's whatever works for you. So I have an onion as well. Okay, so um, same goes with the noodles. I choose rigatoni. I like rigatoni noodles, um, but you're welcome to use whatever noodles you want for your spaghetti. Um, and then I also use Classico. I prefer Classico. Um, you can use ragu, you can use prego, um, whatever spaghetti sauce you want. I choose Classico because that's my thing. I love the different um, seasonings that they have in, in Classico, so that's why I choose Classico. Okay. okay. So now, you guys are being too loud. So now that I have my hair up, hands are washed, always make sure you guys wash your hands before you start doing anything. Cleanliness is very important. And 
stay hydrated. Okay, so um, I'm just going to use just a regular pot. Um, actually, I think I'm going to need a deeper pot than that. Um, but I like to, you know, like get my meat boiled whatever fat that's left over in the meat i like to just boil that fat out um and then you fry it and then you do your thing so give me just a moment and i will walk you through the steps first thing you will notice is i begin by browning my meat and um, as I said before, I like to boil the fat out, but I also like to season the meat while I am doing so. So you will see that demonstrated here in this clip. <laughs> Now I am preparing my water so I can get ready to boil my noodles. Now you'll see me put a little bit of oil in the water before putting in my noodles and that prevents the noodles from sticking together. Once the cooking has complete you will now see me drain off any excess water and or fat. Here you'll see me cutting up my bell pepper, which I love the red and the yellow as you can see, but you don't have to copy what I do. Whatever your preference is, is what'll work for you, honey. Do you, boo. I am now adding my desired amount of onion and then together I will be placing my bell pepper and onion in the frying pan with a little bit of cooking oil and then I'm going to stir to uh, till it gets a little crisp I guess or whatever you prefer. <laughs> time to blend with the ground beef and cook to your desired taste. It's spaghetti sauce time! I probably left a couple of my little ingredients out but again this is my spaghetti and this is the way I do it
done some all done cutting now I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in the frying pan and I like to fry them until they're really crispy not burnt but dark on all sides um, my hot links have to be cooked very well and just an FYI if it's super spicy be prepared to have a little choking going on because that spice can uh, tickle your throat a little bit. What I didn't show was when I was finished, I then added my hot links to my ground beef and then I prepared a nice uh, large size pot so now I can combine my noodles, my meat, my cheese, and everything you'll see me do in the video is very self-explanatory. But um, yeah, this is what I do and how I do it. Keep watching. layers now it's time to go in the oven heat in the oven for about 10 minutes and it's all yours to serve bon appetit y'all